Hey parents, happy almost February. Okay, or if you're watching this during February, happy February. Um, we just prep, prepped the February packets to go home. So I'm using group A's example, but if you're group B, your days are just gonna be switched. So everything is on the calendar. I'm not gonna go over all of the journal pages. Thank you to those of you who have been sending these back. And if you want to send it back at the end of the month, that's great too, because it's all stapled together. But again, Monday is, um, um, there are a lot of Mondays off well too in February. So it's kind of a, a funny month schedule wise. So that's why, and obviously it's a short month. So it's a lot thinner than normal, but all of the dates are at the top right here for the February calendar. And then the first through the fifth, we're learning about the letter V and also the sight word me. As far as the math, they're practicing the numbers one and two. Honestly, this is an easier concept for them because we start with shapes first and uh, measurement and geometry first. Um, so all it really wants them to understand is that this is the number two, how, practice writing it. Again, anytime I'm sending home work like this, I don't want like a super sloppy two. This is trying to teach them to make the number two. It might seem like an easier concept, but when they get to, like when I taught fourth grade and kids didn't know how to write their numbers well, it really created problems when they were doing long division. So when I moved back down to kindergarten, I was like, the students are gonna learn how to write their numbers well so they're not getting confused now when they go up to fourth grade and are doing long division and you know they're um, doing these super long problems and they're like oh they thought it was a five but really they wrote a two so i really want them to get good at writing their numbers again the directions are on the bottom but basically they're just showing the understanding that this is how you write the number two and it represents two x's this is how you write the number one and it represents one x again the directions are at the bottom so this would be Monday's page. Now instead they're counting objects and then writing the numbers. This would be either Tuesday's or Wednesday's page and then this is Thursday or Friday's page. For the next week, because Monday's off, you don't have a sight word page. It's just two pages for the letter E. And again, it's two pages for math. This time instead of working on the numbers one and two, you're working on the numbers three and four. Same thing with the next week. It's a two day week. One, instead of doing President's Day, we celebrate Washington one day and Lincoln the next, which is why we have the two Mondays off. So for this week, we're learning about the letter J. Again, there's no sight word page because it's a short week and we don't have Monday. And then this is, um, again, it's a, it's a little bit of a review. So they're combining what they know count four pencils, write the number four, count the five crayons, write the number five, showing that they understand that the number five represents five objects. So again, this would be Tuesday's or Wednesday's page, and this would be Thursday's or Friday's page, depending on your schedule. And last but not least, the last week of February, where we go back to a normal five-day week, and we will be doing double the W page, W trace, again, similar to the numbers, I don't want them to leave kindergarten not knowing how to write their letters correctly. So on this page, if we were doing it in class and they did a really sloppy job, I would normally have them erase it and try their best. Now, if they're trying their best and it's still sloppy, that's okay. If they are rushing through it and it's sloppy, that's where we want them to do their personal best. So everybody's personal best looks different, just like with exercising. My personal best with running, it's not great, I'm gonna be honest but it's my personal best. So as long as they are using their personal best and trying their hardest, then I'm really proud. But I'm gonna encourage them to stay in the lines uh, when they're writing their letters. And then the sight word come. Again, these, after they, we review them for the week and learn about them, because we talk about it a lot in class, the expectation is they know that this is a W. They know that the W says what. They know that this is the sight word come and you spell come C-O-M-E. So when they're doing this, instead of just having them like mindlessly do the W page, you can, if you have time or an older sibling, be talking about, oh, so this is the W. And just so you know, after we teach it to them, 
the expectation is that they're then able, when I'm like assessing them on the computer, that they would know, oh, this is a W and it says W. So a lot of them already know all their letter and letter sounds, but some of our kiddos are struggling a little bit. Um, and so I think what's happening is when they're doing this at home and maybe even in school, they're just, you know, cutting the paper and putting the W's on the tree instead of really thinking like, oh, I'm supposed to be learning about the letter W. So just a little friendly reminder. And then last but not least, the math. Again, counting objects, writing the number on the line. That's pretty basic. And that we go again, similar to the ELA, we go back to the three pages. This would be Monday's page. This is either Tuesday's or Wednesday's page. And this is Thursday's or Friday's page because we go back to the five days a week. Hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, we uh, make these beautiful calendars so you can stick it on the fridge and know what they're supposed to do every day. Thank you so much for all your support. I cannot believe we're already in February. This year has gone by very quickly. So thank you so much for all your support. I appreciate it.